Welcome back everyone, welcome back to some more F1 2021 My Team Career Mode Season 3. We're heading into the final three Grand Prix, I believe. Let me just quickly check here and see. Yes, we're in the final three Grand Prix. Today's the US Grand Prix in Austin, Texas. So hopefully we can get a good race in today. Last time out we got pretty lucky. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, make sure to check out the link in the description. There's a link to a playlist of all the F1 2021 My Team content that we've made so far and all of the the progress we've made with the my team car so please be sure to catch up if you guys are caught up welcome to the new video and let's head on into the u.s grand prix before we continue though just make sure that you guys are subscribed using the red button down below that subscribe button is going to be your friend hit the notification bell next to it as well so you're notified as soon as i upload next join the community while you're here f1 2021 my team content will continue on the channel so please be sure to join the community and also stay connected with the channel so you don't miss out on anything new Thank you for the support. Thank you for stopping by today. And let's head on into the U.S. Grand Prix. We have a chassis department Would event. Would you take a look at this for us, please? Let's take a quick look here. Our facilities are relatively functional currently. One thing that we, cons we could consider is improving the facilities to include more recreational areas and activities. So is it going to boost morale with cash or are we going to decline? Thanks. I'll agree. I appreciate you taking the time to help out. Well, it's good to have good morale. Of course, last time we also got hit with regulation changes. As you see, three departments are going to be completely wiped if we don't manage our upgrades. So let's head back in here and see if we can save anything. Anything above 500, I'm going to invest in. All right, so we've sent spent our uh, resource and development points and saving a couple of things yep we're triggering a couple but we are still a long ways away from you know protecting everything so hopefully we can get a good amount of resource points i am tempted to purchase this for six mil despite hmm do i do it resource point generation would be very helpful i'm gonna pull the trigger and invest in our aerodynamics quickly don't know if we'll have enough for our teammate, which he is quite expensive now, 9 mil. I think we can get 3 mil quickly. So hopefully we'll have enough money for our second teammate. We have 500 resource points to use. Do I spend it now or do I save it is the question. I think I'm just going to do monocoque structure. That'll be fine. All right, it's time for the Grand Prix. So let's head into the U.S. Grand Prix and see how well we do here. Hopefully a good number of resource points come through as well as some points to keep the pressure on Ferrari and Charles Leclerc, who's just above me, I believe. So let's see what we can do in Austin, Texas. Welcome to qualifying at the U.S. Grand Prix at the Circuit of the Americas. Now, the whole practice session was a bit of a difficult wrestle for us. Uh, just couldn't find the pace for some of these programs. Track acclimatization, as always, just simple. Driving along the guided route, and we got purple on that. But the biggest problem was race strategy as well as fuel management, I believe. Um, mainly because I couldn't find the pace. I'm not sure why. I mean, in time trial, I'm in the top 1400 players so i think i'm quite fast on this circuit but the ai is just broken or something i'm not sure uh people were setting 127s 128s and i'm stuck back there with 130s 131s so i just don't know where i can get those three seconds i mean to be honest three seconds is the gap between myself and some of the top 10 uh, time trial drivers so i guess that's where i'm missing out i need to be like tip of the top like creme de la creme driver in order to compete against the ai here um qualifying hopefully will be more managed like it'll be more controlled compared to what we experienced in practice so hopefully we're more balanced uh there we go that's what i'm looking for balanced with the ai uh again codemasters like to mess with the AI. The AI is completely broken in this game all the time, so I'm not surprised if the practice session was glitched um, and I couldn't get competitive times because of that glitch. But anyway, that's all behind us. I think I got a good number of laps, good amount of practice done, so I think I'm going to be confident for the qualifying session as we go through. Race and qualifying will be dry, so hopefully we will be competitive. Let's just let everyone set their times and then head out with like five or four minutes remaining.
All right, how do we sit? P16, we also have a broken DRS, so we gotta make good use of this. All right, where are we? Where do we sit? I think that was a good lap. Marvelous, question mark? Max Verstappen with the fastest lap, 127.3. Nico Rosberg just behind with a 127.9 in P8. Yes, we make it through to Q2. Russell Latifi, Stroll, Raikkonen, Aiken, and Mazepin get knocked out. The usual suspects in the Williams, Alfa Romeo, and Haas. So let's see what happens in Q2. All right, first lap. Wow. Just behind Nico Rosberg, one tenth away from Pierre Gasly, or two tenths rather. Okay. Ooh, do we make it through? I don't know. We'll see. Used up a new set of selves too. Oh yes, we do. Wow, that was difficult to do. But 127.8, and we're through in P8. Max Verstappen again with the fastest lap. Rosberg, Sonoda, Giovinazzi, Ocon, and Schumacher, and Schwartzman get knocked out. Let's see what happens in Q3. Yeah, couldn't improve on it. I think we are just ahead of Ricardo. Good result today. Max Verstappen with 127.2 and we said P9 just ahead of Daniel Ricardo. Our rival is behind us. That's good by one ten one hundredth of a second. Very nice. So let's see what we can do from P9. It's a good starting position. Hopefully we can aim for some solid points. Here we are then in one of the fastest growing cities in the United States, the fabulous Austin in the great state of Texas. The circuit itself 14 miles southeast of the city center and home to the US Grand Prix since 2012. The latest in a long list of iconic tracks to have that honor. We're racing today then in Travis County, Texas, where 20 corners and speeds of up to 200 miles an hour await us on this magnificent racetrack. It's 60% full throttle with plenty of good opportunities to pass, especially through the two DRS zones into turn one and at the end of the long back straight into turn 12. What a race we have in store today. Also here, of course, is Anthony Davidson. We have a really close scrap at the top of the championship at the moment and they're right in the thick of it. But any mistake now could be disastrous. True enough, but that pressure goes both ways. A failure or a mistake at this point could spell the end of their championship hopes, but they know their rivals are in exactly the same situation. Let's just hope the title is decided in the purest of ways. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Sergio Perez will lead us away from pole position, and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Norris, Lewis Hamilton and Sainz, Ace, Ricardo, Rosberg and Max Verstappen. They've taken a grid penalty. Sonoda, Gasly, Antonio Giovinazzi and Mick Schumacher, Schwartzman, Russell, Nicholas Latifi and Lance Stroll, Raikkonen, Aitken, Mazepin and Esteban Ocon rounds off the grid. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. We get promoted by one spot after um, Max Verstappen takes a grid penalty. So let's see what happens here. Um, we're going to do a soft medium strategy, of course, because we made it into Q3. We're using Q2 tires, the best lap time we've made. So those softs are on our car so we're going for a soft to medium strategy uh let's see let's lower our fuel load to approximately 42.5 laps i think uh, 42.5 kilograms we should be good so let's see how well we do here can we get a solid grand prix in the bag some points would do us well too it's lights out and away we go in the united states oh dear around the outside to get up into P5 let's concentrate on our drive here
Nicely taken. Who had to concentrate there? Lando Norris, Perez. I'm in the slipstream of the cars ahead, so hopefully we can catch up to these guys. Seems like Bottas is in the lead, right? Can I get a dive bomb? No. Following these guys very well. Hopefully I can get Lando Norris here. I'm in a slipstream. ERS engaged. Nice. Clean. P4. Podium is in sight. There goes Lando Norris. I am struggling with overheating tires. Well, we got him back. That's P4. You're into P4. I'm working the tires too hard. They like to overheat. Oh, there it goes, 104. Hundred five in the front. I gotta play nice with the tires a bit. Let me bring the brake bias back a little bit. All right, I am ever so slowly losing grip to the cars ahead, but I'm also bringing the party closer to them. So it's gonna be an interesting couple laps. Tires are overheating like mad here. My rear right is completely dud. guys behind are having a tuss on a half. Our right side is heating up a lot faster than the left. I know, because my tires are absolutely dudded. I think I should have brought the pressure down a little on my tires. But what can I do? We already started the Grand Prix, so we gotta find a way to manage it. It's like ice skates right now. Did I just get hit? I think someone just rear-ended me. Vehicle condition. No tire concerns at the moment. Just focus on the driving. Either signs rear-ended me or something happened because I felt a thud. From behind. Okay, front runners are pitting now. Minus Perez, who's still going. Nico has come into the pits. He's in the pit lane now. Shaky S curves. And as you can tell, signs has come up. Come on, come on. Good exit. Signs is gonna try it. Defend the inside line. Oops, I'm not allowed to weave. I keep forgetting. Not allowed to weave. Perez has unbelievable pace, by the way.
Ah, oh, it's neck and neck with Max Verstappen here. I need some of those back markers stat. I need them to disturb Max Verstappen a little bit. Please. Come on, come on. Come on, stroll. There's three laps of fuel remaining. Get over here, stroll. Thank you. Ah, damn it. Max Verstappen followed me straight through Stroll. I also got DRS, buddy. Oh, a little touch there. Vehicle condition. No need to worry about tire condition for now. Damn it. We've only got two laps of fuel left. All the back markers have been no help whatsoever so far in our fight against Max Verstappen. Insert the Thanos. Fine, I'll do it myself meme right here. Fine. I'll do it myself. Yeah, let's push him wide. It all comes down to this final lap. Final lap of the race. Come on, come on. I've been defending well against Max Verstappen. Tires are almost gone, by the way. What am I saying? Tires are gone. Alright, 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 alright. Come on, come on, come on. That went wide. Whoa! Max Verstappen just overtook me outside the track, mate. What are you doing? I'm still ahead of Max Verstappen here. He just bloody well took out my wing. Bastard. Hope he has damage too. Driver behind. Driver behind. Verstappen is behind you. Less than a second separate you. They're on old mediums. Their tires are nine laps old. It looks like the car behind has a small amount of damage to the front wing, but it doesn't seem to be affecting performance. The time last lap was a 1 minute 32.8. Yeah, well, serves you right, Max Verstappen. He has wing damage as well. Ooh. Thought I would take exceeding track limits warning there. And it's done. Oh my god, what a battle against Max for 7, but P2. Top job, my friend, top job. I was a bit worried about this one at the start of the weekend, but you've pulled through. Thank you. Here's our winner, pulling their Ferrari into Park Fermi. What a fantastic race it was. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today, and a stunning win for Ferrari.
Well done to the prancing horses of the Ferrari. The Tifosi are going wild as Charles Leclerc claims victory. P2 for us, which is a well-fought battle. And I think a lot of people opted for the two-stop strategy, which cost them a lot. The one-stop was superior, and there we go, P2. So let's take a look at the results. Leclerc, myself, and Verstappen on the podium as we saw it during the celebrations. Um, Hamilton, Ricardo, Gasly, Bottas, Rosberg, Perez, and Sainz finish out the points. Rosberg with four points today. Very nice. Norris, Giovinazzi, Schumacher, Sonoda, Russell, Latifi, Stroll, Raikkonen, Aiken, and Mazepin finish the grid with Schwarzman and Ocon not finishing the race today. Let's take a look at the standings real quick. Good amount of points for us. We keep pushing on Leclerc, but he extends the gap a bit because he did win the Grand Prix today. So I don't think P3 is looking likely unless Charles Leclerc gets a very poor run of form in the final two Grand Prix. Nico Rosberg in P6 with 98 points, four points ahead of Lando Norris, and looks like nine points behind Gasly. So that's still a very tight group right there. Constructor standings wise, we're solidly in P2 right now, 19 points ahead of Ferrari, and of course, Red Bull are 194 points away and they have secured the title. So it's no big surprise there, but P2 is looking very likely for us at the end of the season. Marvelous Grand Prix, something that I didn't expect to be honest. We were very slow during the practice sessions, but qualifying served us very well, sitting P8 by the end of qualifying, and then grip penalties for others brought us up to P7. Very nice starting position. Did well at the early stages of the race to keep it clean and also to drive clinically to try and push on the cars ahead pushed ahead with the front four cars so all us five really pushed ahead and then it became a kind of a panic stations when Lando Norris started to push us wide and stuff so it is what it is to be honest um, but I'm excited for the final two Grand Prix. Hopefully we can keep the pace going. Hopefully we can keep the points getting scored. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like. Subscribe, use the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified when the next video goes live. F1 2021 My Team content will continue on this channel as well as other gaming videos. So please be sure to join the community and stay in touch with me. It's going to be the Brazil Grand Prix next time out. So please be sure to stick around. Thank you guys for stopping by today. Thank you for spending your time with me today. Stay safe, stay healthy. And until next time, take care of yourselves. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So what, you just use me.